last module you created your product using Canva. Now we're back in Canva to create the graphics you need for branding your Etsy shop and making it look professional. So in this lesson, we're going to create a banner for your shop. The banner appears at the top of your shop storefront. You can choose between two sizes, a big banner, which is 1200 by 300 pixels, or a small banner like the one I have here, which is 1200 by 160. Today, we're going to make a big banner. First thing we need to do is add your brand colors to Canva. So go to Brand Kit. If you have Canva Pro, the paid for subscription, you can add more brand elements, but for our purposes, the free version works just fine. So go down to Brand Colors. As you can see here, I've already added two of my brand colors, but I just want to add a third and show you how easy it is to do. So select the color and in the pop-up box, you can choose from the palette or add the hex code for your color. There we go. So now we're ready to create our banner. Click on create a design and in the custom dimensions, type in 1200 by 300, which are the dimensions for an Etsy big banner. This opens up your artboard with the banner ready to be customized. As you can see, there are lots of different templates you can choose from in this section here. I'm going to choose this one. So I just click on the elements and change the colors to my brand colors. And then Adjust the size of the text to fit by dragging and then change the text to my shop name and shop title or tagline. And then you can adjust everything by dragging and positioning so that you're happy with your design. Great, I'm happy with that now, so I'm ready to make another one. Click Add New Page. So I'm gonna to go to Select Photos, and Canva gives you lots of free images you can use. You can also type up here in the search bar, type of photo you're looking for, so I want flowers. I'm going to choose uh, this photo here, so I drag it onto the template and resize it to fit. Next, I'm going to go to Elements over here and choose a square. I'll adjust it so that it makes a banner across my template and then make it into my brand colors up here. I want to make it a little bit more transparent, so I adjust the opacity up here. And then I'm going to duplicate the text from above by Control or Command D and dragging the text into place. Whoops, just delete that. Um, by the way, if you want to add any additional text, you just hit T on your keyboard and it will pop up. And then you can highlight it and change it to the text you want. And up at the top, on the top bar is the font. So you can change the fonts here too. Okay, next new page. So this time I want to use a different template. I'm going to use this template here. Now this has a watermark on the photo. If you want to use this, you have to pay. However, I want to use a different photo, so I'll close that. Go to Photos, and I want a photo of wood as my background. I'll choose this one right here, drag it in, and adjust the size. I need to send it to the back because it's covering up the text. So up here, Position, just click on to back. Type in my shop name and shop tagline.
and adjust the spacing of the characters up here on the top bar. I can change the color to my brand color. I'll select the name, I'm going to change the spacing, adjust the size, position it. Make it my brand colors. Good. And just remove that. Great. I'm happy with that. Lastly, you might want to include a photo of you in your banner. So I want to show you how to do this using this template here. So delete these elements. Duplicate the text from the banner above using Control or Command D. Then select each of the elements and change them to your brand colours. Okay, now for the photo. So I need to go to Uploads here on the left side and to upload an image or video click here and it will take you to your files choose the file you need and it will upload the photo then all you need to do is drag it into place and there you go right i'm happy with all of my banners now so i can download them so that they're ready to use when i set up my etsy shop so go to this download icon in the top right corner click on png and then click on download. Your banners will now be saved into your downloads folder ready to use. Alternatively, if you'd like an even easier way to make your banners, you could grab a ready-made banner set from here. This is my shop, Mary Campbell. I've included a link to the shop for you in the lesson notes. So I have lots of fully editable designs to choose from and all you need to do is add your own shop name and then you can download a beautiful Etsy graphic set ready for use in your shop. So now it's your turn. Have some fun creating some incredible banners for your own Etsy shop. And remember, I'm only an email away. So if you get stuck at all or just like to share what you create, please reach out and I'd be really happy to hear from you.